Here is a story about a forced compulsory head shave buzz cut wife in a barber shop. The year is 2023. The world has been ravaged by a virus that causes hair loss. In an effort to contain the spread of the virus, the government has instituted a compulsory head shave program. Anyone who is caught with hair is subject to a fine or imprisonment. One day, a woman named Sarah is walking down the street when she is stopped by a police officer. The officer informs her that she is in violation of the head shave law. Sarah protests, but the officer is unmoved. He tells her that she has two options. Either she can shave her head herself, or he will do it for her. Sarah is horrified. She has always been proud of her long, flowing hair, but she knows that she has no choice. She takes a deep breath and walks into the nearest barber shop. The barber is a kind-looking man. He asks Sarah why she is getting a buzz cut. Sarah explains the situation. The barber nods understandingly. He tells Sarah that he will make sure she looks her best. The barber starts by washing Sarah's hair. Then he uses a buzzer to shave her head. Sarah winces as the clippers buzz through her hair. But she knows that it is for the best. Once the barber is finished, Sarah looks in the mirror. She is shocked at her reflection. Her head is completely bald, but she also feels a sense of relief. She knows that she is now safe from the virus. Sarah thanks the barber and leaves the barber shop. She walks out into the street, feeling a new sense of freedom. She knows that she will never forget the day she got her buzz cut. Sarah walked out of the barber shop feeling a mixture of emotions. She was relieved that she was now safe from the virus, but she was also sad to have lost her hair. She had always been proud of her long, flowing hair, and it had been a part of her identity for as long as she could remember. Sarah walked home slowly, lost in thought. She wondered how she would adjust to her new look. Would people stare at her? Would she be treated differently? She didn't know, but she was determined to face whatever challenges came her way. When Sarah got home, she went straight to the bathroom and looked in the mirror. She took a deep breath and smiled. She was still beautiful, even without her hair. She was Sarah, and that was all that mattered. That was all. The next day, Sarah went to work. She was nervous about how her co-workers would react to her new look, but she was pleasantly surprised. They were all very supportive, and they told her that she looked great. Sarah was relieved and grateful. Sarah continued to live her life, and she soon forgot about her hair. She made new friends, started a new hobby, and even got a promotion at work. She was happy and content, and she didn't miss her hair at all. One day, Sarah was walking down the street when she saw a little girl with long, flowing hair. The girl was playing with her friends, and she was laughing and having fun. Sarah smiled. She remembered a time when she was that little girl, and she had long, flowing hair. She also remembered the day she got her buzz cut. It had been a difficult day, but she had come out stronger. She knew that the little girl would one day face challenges too, but she would also come out stronger. Sarah continued walking, and she thought about all the things she had learned since the day she got her buzz cut. She had learned that it is important to be strong and to face your fears. She had also learned that it is important to be kind and to support others. She was grateful for the lessons she had learned, and she knew that she would never forget them. Sarah continued to live her life, and she soon became an advocate for people with hair loss. She spoke at public events and wrote articles about her experiences. She also started a support group for people who had been forced to shave their heads. Sarah's work helped to raise awareness about hair loss and the challenges that people with hair loss face. She also helped to break down the stigma associated with hair loss. Sarah's story is a reminder that hair loss is not a defining characteristic. It is simply a part of life. And like all parts of life, it can be overcome. Sarah lived a long and happy life. 
She never forgot the day she got her buzz cut, but she never let it define her. She was a strong and independent woman, and she made a difference in the world. One day, Sarah was diagnosed with cancer. She fought the cancer bravely, but it eventually took her life. Sarah was only 55 years old when she died, but she left behind a legacy of strength, courage, and hope. Sarah's death was a great loss to her family and friends, but they were also inspired by her strength and courage. They knew that she would want them to continue her work, so they started a foundation in her honor. The Sarah Foundation provides support to people with hair loss and cancer. It also raises awareness about these conditions and the challenges that people with these conditions face. The Sarah Foundation is a testament to Sarah's legacy. She was a strong and independent woman who made a difference in the world. Her work will continue to help people for many years to come. One day, a young woman named Emily was diagnosed with cancer. She was scared and alone, but she remembered Sarah's story. She knew that Sarah would have wanted her to be strong, so she found the courage to fight. Emily went through chemotherapy and radiation treatment. She lost her hair, but she never gave up. She fought the cancer bravely, and she eventually went into remission. Emily was grateful for the support of the Sarah Foundation. She knew that she would not have been able to get through her treatment without the help of the Foundation. Emily is now a successful businesswoman. She is married and has two children. She is a strong and independent woman, and she is an inspiration to others. Emily is a living reminder of Sarah's legacy. Sarah's story is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we can find strength and hope. We can overcome any challenge if we never give up. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for all your support of my channel. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to share my stories with you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the story. What did you like about it? If you enjoyed the story, please share it with your friends and family. And if you could take a moment to like the clip and subscribe to my channel, I would be so grateful.